Hello students, how are you today? Today we're going to review lessons one through nine. So I'm sure that you remember these, but we'll help you to remember. Now first, when we are getting to know a person, we ask questions. And here are some of the questions. What's your name? How do you spell it? Foreign names can be difficult. How do you spell it? Where are you from? Do you speak English? Where do you live? And maybe, what is your phone number? Now, usually, we don't ask, how old are you? How old are you is a question we don't ask for adults. You can't ask me. But we could ask about a child or another person. Now, we're going to practice with these questions with the help of our assistants. So, what's your name? My name is Isabel. How do you spell it? I-S-A-B-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Okay, thank you. Ali, where are you from? I am from Turkey. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Do you speak Turkish? Yes, I do. Do you speak Russian? No, I don't. Okay. Susan, what is your phone number? It is 536-290-8671. Okay, thank you. Now, Susan, how old is your grandmother? She is 77 years old. Okay, good. Now, we're going to practice introductions with the help of our assistants. And uh, when you do introductions, Remember, Mr. is a man. If you're not sure if a woman is married or single, you say Ms. If she is married, you say Mrs. And if she's young, you can say Miss. Now, of course, there are other titles, such as Doctor, Doctor Doolittle, Professor, Professor Stone, President, President Clinton, or Queen, Queen Elizabeth, okay? Now, we've done this before, and what I want you to do is you're going to introduce each other, and, but you're just going to stay at the tables. So, Isabel, this is for you, Susan, and Ali. Now, you're going to introduce new people. Isabel, you start. Mrs. Jones, this is Mrs. Smith. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Jones. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Smith. Okay, now Susan. Queen Elizabeth, this is Prime Minister Blair. Nice to meet you, Queen Elizabeth. Nice to meet you too, Prime Minister Blair. The last one, Ollie. Professor Adams, this is Miss Ryan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Professor Adams. Now, you've been introduced to each other in your new identities. You are new people now. Susan, you are still Ms. Ryan. Isabel, you are still Professor Adams. And Ali, you're still Ali. All right, now, I want you to introduce Mr. Oxoy to Ms. Ryan. Ms. Ryan, this is Mr. Oxoy. Nice to meet you, Ms. Ryan. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Oxoy. Okay, now, you're going to con continue the conversation. You want to know something about each other. And we'll start with Susan. What is your first name, Mr. Aksoy? My first name is Ali. Where are you from? I am from Turkey. OK. What is your first name? My first name is Marcy. How do you spell it? It is M-A-R-C-Y. Where are you from? I am from Belgium. Interesting. Do you speak French? Yes, I can speak Flemish too. 
And of course, you speak English too. Yes. You are lucky. Yes, you are lucky. All right. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. What's your name? My name is Ted Smith. How do you spell your last name? S M I T H. Mr. Smith, this is Ms. Jones. Nice to meet you. Read and repeat. Now, let's continue with the conversation, and our speakers want to find out more about each other, and all three of them will ask questions now. So, let's start with Ali. Professor Adams, where do you work? I work at the university. What do you teach? I teach history. That's interesting. Where are you from? I'm from California. Ms. Ryan, where are you from? I am from Belgium. What do you do? I am an accountant. Where do you work? I work in Brussels. Do you like your job? Usually, sometimes I don't like. That's normal. Do you like your job? Usually. Ali, where are you from in Turkey? I am from Istanbul. What's your job? I am a dentist. Where do you work? I work in an office. Do you like your job? Yes, I do. Okay, everyone, that was great. Now, we're going to review countries, countries, nationalities, nationalities, and languages. So we'll get a few examples from our assistants, and you're going to tell me the name of a country, the nationality, and the language or languages from that country. So, let's start with Isabel. Okay. France. French. French. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. France is the country. The nationality is French, and the language is French. Okay. Ali? Turkey. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Turkish. Turkish. Yes. Okay. These are kind of easy. So Ali is from Turkey. He's Turkish. He speaks Turkish. Okay. Susan. Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Malaysia. Bahasa Melayu. Okay. All right. Let's go with Ali. China. Chinese. Chinese. Uh huh. Okay. Good. Okay. Another one, Isabel. Australia. Australian. English. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay, good. Next, Susan. Austria. Austrian. German. Mm -hmm. Good. And one more each. Ali. Japan. Japanese. Japanese. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Okay, Susan. Belgium. Belgium. 
French and Flemish. Mm -hmm. Okay. And finally, Isabel. Canada. Canada. Yay. Canadian. French and English. Yes, good. There are two official languages in Canada, French and English. All right, okay. So here are a few countries, their nationalities, and the languages that most people speak there. All right, now for you, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Do you speak French? No, I don't, but I speak English. What does your father do? He's an engineer. Where does he work? He works in an office in Los Angeles. Does he like his job? He usually likes his job. Read and repeat. Now, let's talk about our families. First, we're going to talk about the women in our families, and our assistants will help us. Now, we're going to make a list of the women in our families. Okay, now let's start with Susan. Mother. Okay, mother. All right, Isabel? Daughter. Okay, spell it. D A U G H T E R. Yes, good. That's a hard one. Okay, Ollie. Grandmother. Grandmother. All right. Now, Susan. Aunt. Spell it. A U N T. Yes, good. Isabel, another one. Niece. Spell it. N I E C. E. Yes, that one also is kind of hard. All right. Uh, Ali. Cousin. All right. Now, is our cousins only women? No, they can be men or women. Okay. All right. Isabel. Wife. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Wife. All right. Now, let's look at our list. We have mother, daughter, aunt, grandmother, niece, cousin and wife. All right, now, of course, we're going to talk about the men in the family. So let's make another list. And we'll start with the men. And Ollie, you're a man, you start. Father. Yes, good, all right, father. Susan? Grandfather. Grandfather, all right. Isabel? Husband. Okay. Uh, Susan. Nephew. Spell it. N-E-P-H-E-W. W. Nephew. Yes. Good job. Ali. Son. Yes. Isabel. Uncle. And any more? Ali. Cousin. Yeah. Okay. We have cousin under women and cousin under men. So let's look at our list again. We've got father, grandfather, husband, nephew, son, uncle, and cousin. Okay, now let's look and listen. Look and listen. My cousin is from Germany. His mother is American. He has three sisters. Their grandmother speaks French. She has four grandchildren. Read and repeat. 
We're going to review some jobs and some workplaces. Now first, look at your screen and we will look at some jobs. Now we'll begin with teacher, student, nurse, architect, manager, website designer, doctor, waiter, taxi driver, salesperson, and homemaker. Now, look at your screen again, and we'll look at some workplaces where these people work. So let's start with a bank, a restaurant, an office, a school, a hospital, a store, a hotel, and a factory. Now, what are some other jobs? We're going to get some ideas from our assistants and we'll put them into groups and also say where they work. Now, some of the groups are health, let's write these down, health, tourism, business, the arts, and education. Okay, so these are the groups that we'll talk about today. And we'll put some names of jobs here. And our assistants will tell us the name of a job and where that person works. Okay, and I'll just write the names of the jobs. So, let's look at some jobs in the health category. And we'll start with Ali. A dentist. He works in an office. Yes, good. A dentist. All right. Now the next one, Susan. A nurse. She works in a hospital. Yes, a nurse. Good. Isabel. A doctor. He or she works in a hospital. Yes. Uh huh. Good. Any more, Ali? An ambulance driver. He works on the street. Oh, good one. An ambulance driver. Okay. Good. Isabel. Receptionist. Uh, she works in an office. Okay. A receptionist works in an office. Any more, Susan? Hmm. I can't think of any. Okay. All right. Now, let's look at this group again. We have a dentist, a nurse, a doctor, an ambulance driver, and a receptionist. There's probably more, but we'll stop there. Okay, now let's look at the group for tourism. I think this will be a long list. Susan, you start. A waiter or waitress, he or she works in a, work in a restaurant. Okay, he or she works in a restaurant. What's the difference between a waiter and a waitress? A waiter is a man. A waitress is a woman. Yes, good. All right. Uh, okay, Ali? A cook or a chef. Okay. He or she works in a restaurant. Yes, okay. A chef is higher status. Okay, Isabel? A receptionist. She works in an office. Okay. Or a restaurant. Okay, could be. All right, Ali? A taxi driver. He works in a car. Yes. All right. And Susan? A bus driver. He works in a bus. Yes. Good. Isabel? A cleaner. He or she works everywhere. Yes, that's right. We need cleaners. Susan, one more. A guide. He or she works in tourist places. Yes, that's right. Good. Isabel? A translator. 
he or she works in an office. Yes, probably. All right, another one, Ali. A travel agent, he or she works in an office. Yes, good. And one more each, Ali. A pilot, he works in a plane. Okay, Susan? A captain, he works on a ship or ferry. Okay, and Isabel? A flight attendant, he or she works on a plane. Yes, good, okay. All right, now let's look at our list again. It's quite long. We have a waiter, a waitress, a cook, a chef, a receptionist, a taxi driver, a bus driver, a cleaner, a guide, a translator, a travel agent, a pilot, a captain, and a flight attendant. Okay, now let's look at business and we'll start with Isabel. Okay, a website designer. He or she works in an office. Okay, a website designer, all right, Ali. A computer programmer, he or she works in an office. Yes, okay, these are long ones, a computer programmer, okay, Susan? A technician, he works everywhere. Okay, spell technician. T E C H N I C I N A N. A N, good, yes, a technician. All right, Isabel. An accountant, he or she works in an office or a bank. Okay, good. Ali? An engineer. He works in an office or maybe outside. Okay, and it could be she. And Isabel, one more? A secretary. She works in an office. Okay. And Susan, one more for you. A salesperson. He or she works in a store. Okay. And Ali, the last one for now. A businessman. He works in an office. Okay. Now, of course, all of these jobs can be women also. A businessman could be a businesswoman. Now, let's look at our list. We have a website designer, a computer programmer, a technician, an accountant, an engineer, a secretary, a salesperson, and a businessman or a businesswoman. Okay, now, let's look at the arts. Isabel, give me one. Okay. A singer. He or she works in a bar or a theater. Yes, uh-huh. Or on television or in the movies. In the movies. Okay, Ali. An artist. He or she works in a studio. Yes, uh-huh. Susan? An architect. He or she works in an office. Okay. Spell it. A R C H I, T, E, C, T. Yes, good, another hard one. Okay, architect. Ali? A painter. He or she works in a studio. Okay. Isabel? A graphic designer. He or she works in an office. Yes, good. A graphic designer. All right, Ali? A writer. He or she works in an office or at home. Yes, good. All right. That's good for now. Let's look at our list again. We have a singer, an artist, an architect, a painter, a graphic designer, and a writer. Now, our last group is education, and we just have a few things for that. So, let's start with Susan. A teacher, he or she works in a school. Yes, good. All right, Isabel? A professor. He or she works at a university. Yes. Uh-huh. Notice for spelling, one F, two S's. Okay, Ali? A student. He or she doesn't work, but goes to school. Okay, that's good for now. Now, this is a short list. A teacher, a professor, a student. Okay? And, of course, there are other people that work in the office. 
All right. Now, you did a great job with articles. I'm very proud of you. Now, at home, look at your screen, and you'll see the chart again of articles to review them. Now, remember, with single countable nouns in general, we use a or an. With countable plural nouns, only s. Non-countable nouns, no a, an, no s. For the, we use it for special things with countable single nouns, countable plural nouns, the plus s, and non-countable nouns. So if we look across at our chart, we see a n, a car, cars, traffic, an apple, apples, fruit, with the, we see the car, the cars, the traffic, and the apple, the apples, the fruit. Okay? Great. Now, let's look and listen. Look and listen. An accountant works in an office. My sister works in a store. Our mother is a designer. She works in an office. The office is near our house. Read and repeat. Okay, now we're going to review some sentence structure and some verbs. First, we'll start with the verb to be. To be, or not to be. Now, remember that this is usually a linking verb. It's a connecting verb. So it tells us something about what the subject is. So, for example, Molly is a teacher. So the be verb is is, and this tells something about Molly. Molly is a teacher, okay? So on your screen, you see the chart that we looked at before. Now we'll go over this one more time. We have basic, short, example, and another example. So the first one is I am, I'm, I am tall. I'm tall. You are. You're. You are tall. You're tall. He is. He's. He is tall. He's tall. She is. She's. She is tall. She's tall. It is. It's. It is tall. It's tall. We are. We're. We are tall. We're tall. You are. You're. You are tall. You're tall. They are. They're. They are tall. They're tall. Okay, now, remember this about sentence structure? You are young. Now, if we look at the parts of this sentence, we have the subject is you, the verb, is R and the complement is young. So the complement completes the subject. So you subject, R verb, this is the B verb, young complement. Okay, it means you young. And this is where we put the B verb. Now let's look at another kind of sentence structure. And here's an example. We speak English. We speak English. Okay, for this one, the subject is we. The verb is 
speak, and the object is English. Okay? So, subject we, speak, verb, English, object. Okay? This is what we do to English. Okay? All right. Now, these are not the same. Okay? Now, we're going to review the simple present tense again. On your screen, you see the chart showing positive, negative, short negative, and yes, no question. So let's look at this. I speak English. I do not speak English. I don't speak English. Do I speak English? You speak English. You do not speak English. You don't speak English. Do you speak English? He speaks English. Remember that S. He does not speak English. He doesn't speak English. Does he speak English? She speaks English. She does not speak English. She doesn't speak English. Does she speak English? It speaks English. It does not speak English. It doesn't speak English. Does it speak English? We speak English. We do not speak English. We don't speak English. Do we speak English? You speak English. You do not speak English. You don't speak English. Do you speak English? They speak English. They do not speak English. They don't speak English. Do they speak English? Okay. Now, let's practice some of this. And our assistants are going to tell us about each other. And we're going to hear some positive information and some negative information. And Isabel is going to tell us everything, uh, a little, about Susan. Okay. She is from Malaysia. She is 26 years old. She likes traveling. She cooks very well. She does speak English, but she doesn't speak French. Okay, good. Interesting. Now, Susan, you tell us about Ali. Ali is from Turkey. He is my friend. He likes pop music, but he doesn't like folk music. He plays chess very well, but he doesn't play football. That's all. Okay, good. All right, Ali, tell us everything about Isabel. She is French. She is 24 years old. She likes playing volleyball. She doesn't smoke. She doesn't speak Turkish. Okay, all right, good. Now it's time for you to look and listen. Look and listen. He is a professor. He speaks English and Japanese. He works at a university. He likes his job. Read and repeat. Listen and write. Listen and write these words. Number one. German. German. Number two. Daughter. Daughter. Number three. Architect. Architect. Number four. Niece, niece. Number five, family, family. Number six, actor, actor. Number seven, waitress, waitress. Number eight, Austria. 
Austria. Number nine, speak, speak. Number 10, English, English. Now, check your work. Number one, German. Number two, daughter. Number three, architect. Number four, niece. Number five, family. Number six, actor. Number seven, waitress. Number eight, Austria. Number nine, speak. Number 10, English. Now, listen and write these sentences. Number one, what's your name? What's your name? Number two, my name is Bill. My name is Bill. Number three, what is your last name? What is your last name? Number four, my last name is Smith. My last name is Smith. Number five, where are you from? Where are you from? Number six, I'm from Canada, but I live in the U.S. I'm from Canada, but I live in the U.S. Number seven, what do you do? What do you do? Number eight, I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer. Number nine, where do you live? Where do you live? Number 10, I live and work in New York. I live and work in New York. Now, check your work. Number one, what's your name? Number two, my name is Bill. Number three, what is your last name? Number four, my last name is Smith. Number five, where are you from? Number six, I'm from Canada, but I live in the U.S. Number seven, what do you do? Number eight, I'm an engineer. Number nine, where do you live? Number 10, I live and work in New York. Now, read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. Bill Smith is an engineer. He is from Canada, but he works in the U.S. He lives in New York. Bill's wife is Shirley. She is a teacher. She teaches English at a school in New York. They have two children, Anne and Mike. Anne is 16 years old and Mike is 14. They go to high school. Anne is tall and pretty and Mike is tall and handsome. Anne is a little shy, but Mike is outgoing and funny. They are good students. Of course, they speak English very well. Now, listen to the questions and answer them. Number one, what does Bill Smith do? What does Bill Smith do? Number two, where is he from? Where is he from? Number three, where does he work? Where does he work? 
Number four, what is his wife's name? What is his wife's name? Number five, what does she do? What does she do? Number six, where do they live? Where do they live? Number seven, how old is Anne? How old is Anne? Number eight, what is Mike like? What is Mike like? Number nine, are they good students? Are they good students? Number 10, do they speak English well? Do they speak English well? Now, check your work. Number one, what does Bill Smith do? He's an engineer. Number two, where is he from? He's from Canada. Number three, where does he work? He works in the U.S. Number four, what is his wife's name? Her name is Shirley. Number five, what does she do? She's an English teacher. Number six, where do they live? They live in New York. Number seven, how old is Anne? She is 16. Number eight, what is Mike like? He is outgoing and funny. Number nine, are they good students? Yes, they are. Number 10, do they speak English well? Yes, they do. All right, that's all for today. We'll see you next time.